What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So, I'm gonna check out Liv Morgan seduces Dominic. WWE wrestlers remove Dominic, ended up breaking character, biggie, uh, updates, and other wrestling related news. Monday Night Raw, I enjoyed for the most part. Obviously, the thing that everyone was talking about is uh, Liv Morgan trying to seduce Dominic, and it was hilarious because a lot of us fellas out there and i'm maybe some of y'all ladies out there definitely would have folded if Liv morgan was doing the thing she was trying to do to dominic it definitely didn't give no pg vibes but it was very entertaining dominic even being a married man is is having a great time right now so we're gonna check this out man uh appreciate all the love support you guys shown on the channel let's get right into this one man going on guys it is wrestlemania here back with another video join us now as we look at this week's edition of raw as well as the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including Liv morgan seduces dominic an update on dominic's injury a major match taking place at clash of the castle he receiving stem cell treatment mm. AEW confirms four talent departures three superstars officially gone from wwe Damn. and much more be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on news. Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. As always, we won't recap the show, but just look at the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. As always, we start off with the good as, number one, it doesn't get any better. The Chad Gable Alpha Academy mm -hmm. Sami Zayn storyline is the best in the WWE, an example of how a compelling story can elevate undercard wrestlers who yep. have the potential to break out of the mid-card. Bookers can learn a lot from how this played out so far, including the use of everyone involved, whether mm -hmm. it's background players like Akira Tozawa or wrestlers who have been neglected such as Otis and Chad Gable, and throwbacks to past storylines of Sami sharing how he was treated badly in the bloodline mm -hmm. with Alpha Academy. Number two, not lie to you, man. They they are cooking right now with Chad Gable. I, I believe his contract expires this week, but I'm sure he's gonna resign because there's no way they let this go. And if you guys paid attention last night, back it was he was backstage and he was talking once again with um uh the Creed brothers. This is like the second time he's had this interaction. I think second or third time where he's talking to the creed brothers for a reason and i i do think it's gonna play into the fact once otis and the rest of alpha academy say you know what we're done with you chad i think he's gonna start something with them a new alpha academy of sorts which i think is gonna be great to get the creed brothers into something serious they all have legitimate wrestling backgrounds so it makes sense for him to start a group with them if that's if that's the case but either way they're cooking with Chad Gable. This is the most important we've seen Chad Gable on the main roster. Like, this is his most important character role, character arc, whatever you want to say it, and I'm loving it. So, they, he's definitely resigned. There's no way WWE lets this go because right now people care. Seduces Dominic. And Liv Morgan turned up the heat on Dominic Mysterio. Oh, she it looks did. like Mysterio's resistance is crumbling, as well as his self preservation instincts, because once Rhea finds out what happened, Daddy Dom is in for a beating. While the WWE seems to have forgotten the many online clues that something has been going on behind the scenes, there's no faulting Liv's work as a temptress. Number three, mm -hmm. Judgment Day take out Braun. Last night, Braun Strowman left. I'm not going to lie to you, it's working. I think uh, Dominic had posted a screen recording of Liv Morgan just, just liking every single photo, reel, whatever on his Instagram. Just liking everything. They are, they're playing this up really well. I love what WWE is doing with the use of social media with wrestlers. It is, I've, WWE has done this before, like using social media to kind of you know carry a few but they've been doing it a lot more recently and i love it 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 adds that layer of storytelling like she's obsessing over dominic it's 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 great it's fucking fantastic and that even monsters can't beat the numbers game especially when it involves uh -huh. the judgment day number four another strong main which, event which was cool too I, i'm sorry i had to pause this again but that was a good moment you're thinking braun Strowman gonna pack these guys up and they start beating the shit out of him as one should it's the numbers game they start tearing him down with a steel chair attacking his legs loved it loved it it, it shows that braun is not just this unstoppable force 
and it shows that Judgment Day are still a faction to be wary of. I love that. Wrestling fans can expect something big in the main event, and it doesn't get any bigger than the match between a world champion and a WWE Hall of Famer. Priest vs Mysterio was a was strong a main match. event that also established Drew McIntyre will have to fight the Judgment Day and Damian Priest when he challenges Priest mm -hmm. at Clash of the Castle. Number 5, A Well-Oiled Show is three hours too much for wrestling for a weekly TV show? Well, not if the show is actually booked like last night's Raw, which started off strong and took fans on a wild ride with no, occasional stops show. backstage or in other segments that forwarded storylines and kept fans yesterday. entertained all the while. Now, we criticized Triple H for lousy time management skills, but that wasn't the case last night as the show was a grand slam. Number six, more love for the women's division. Mm -hmm. There was plenty of love for WWE's women's division, whether it was Io Sky looking for revenge on Lyra Valkyria for mm -hmm. daring to beat her in the Queen of the Ring or various teams scrambling for a women's tag team championship. The WWE is consistently pushing its women's division and this is great news for fans, especially yeah. if the rumors of a secondary women's title pans out. Hopefully, and Monday's match of the night, happen. Finn Balor vs Dragon Lee. A rule featured some fantastic bouts, but Finn Balor vs Dragon Lee stole the show. While it may be a stretch to say Dragon Lee is a generational talent, he could become a major player in the WWE. Yeah, Booking can. him against Finn Balor was smart as Balor only added to the match. But that was a good one about the baddest. Number one, Alba Fire and Illa Dawn headed for a title shot. Are Fire and Dawn headed for the Women's Tag Team Championship at Clash at the Castle Scotland? If so, it kind of seems like a bit of a cheap booking ploy, almost similar to Piper mm -hmm. never getting a WWE Women's Championship match for no other reason than getting a match in a hometown crowd. Yeah, yeah. Whilst that might be different in some aspects, it is smart to cater to a hometown crowd, but there are better ways than doing this than putting a glorified mid-carders into title matches, especially since there's little chance of them winning. Now, oh, something downright saying. ugly, a solid roar from start to finish. If the WWE can keep producing content like this, the universe is in for a wild summer. What do you guys think of the Red Brand last Yeah, man. The summer, the summer slam is shaping up to be really great. Clash at the Castle is shaping up to be a fun event. Can't wait to check that out. But Summer Slam, the things that they're playing up, uh, it's 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 really cooking up. Hopefully, SmackDown can maintain that too. Um, we got the AJ Styles and Cody Rhodes situation, bloodline stuff. So hopefully they can maintain that momentum. Oh, and uh, he, I don't even think he didn't really mention uh, Jay Uso pretty much announcing himself to be one of the competitors in the men's money in the bank. You know, hopefully, you know, that's going to plan out, pan out. So it, it's it's a lot of stuff is heating up for the summer. WWE, they're in motion. They got some storylines. It seems like it's not thrown together. They're planning some stuff. Looking forward to how things play out. Play out. So, last night, let us know in the comments down below. Now, let's move on to the news. Our first story looks at a Dominic Mysterio update. Atop of today's news is a report concerning Dominic Mysterio's injury status, as although Dirty Dom has been a featured player on Raw, and why wouldn't he be? He's one of WWE's hottest heels. He hasn't been able to wrestle for several weeks since injuring one of his elbows. However, Dom took a bump on last week's Raw, which led to speculation about his status. Meltzer noted on the Wrestling Observer Radio that he's cleared to do physicality. Dominic's ability mm. to play a significant role in advancing storylines without stepping into the ring is a testament to his stand-up work as a heel. Yeah. Next up, a major match in the works for Clash at the Castle. Is the WWE ready to announce another major match for Clash at the Castle Scotland? The WWE opened the door for an undisputed WWE Championship match on last yeah. Friday's SmackDown after AJ Styles delivered a vicious beatdown on Cody Rhodes, and now Meltzer is reporting that Cody vs AJ2 will take place at Clash at As the Castle. It so that's going to be on the pay-per-view, Clash at the Castle, which I presume that they'll announce on Friday. I mean, you could see the angle. I wasn't sure which pay-per-view it would be on because they might have held it off for the Toronto show because Toronto needs a big match. True. But I was told it's going to be on this one coming up. There's no word on whether there'll be any stipulation added to the match. Next up, Biggie receiving stem cell treatment. Uh, uh, it needs to be a stipulation. It doesn't need to be a regular match. It needs to be a stipulation because he attacked him. He attacked him brutally. He, you know, tried to play to his his nice side he it, it was it was all a plan so it needs to be some type of stipulation something of the sorts you know we'll see how that plays out could stem cell therapy heal biggie enough so that the injured superstar can return to the ring while it currently appears that biggie may never wrestle again after ridge holland accidentally broke biggie's neck during a match the beloved new day strongman posted a photo on instagram of him receiving stem cell treatment MVP, who is receiving the same treatment, shared a photo of himself and the big man via Instagram, mm. along with a message, here in Cancun at Rejuve Stem, with one of my favorite people, Biggie, getting rejuvenated. Okay. While the benefits of stem cell therapy for injuries remain hotly debated, Biggie and MVP seem willing to give it a go. We send our well wishes to both men that the treatment works. That just sucks, man. It, it It's just a testament to how 
quick things can happen in the wrestling business and that's why you always got to show your love and respect to these guys and girls out there because obviously you know Rich didn't want that to happen. You can tell it wasn't on act like on purpose. It was an accidental injury, but it it caused Big E, you know, and, and it's a good chance he may not ever wrestle again. If he does, that's awesome. But anything dealing with the neck and spine, you got to be very careful with it. That's why Edge had to step away for so long, and it's so crazy that he's doing the stuff he's doing now in AEW, you know. But it's just. It's it's unfortunate. I would love to be able to see Big E in the ring one more time. But if it can't happen for the safety of him, hey, man, all we can do is appreciate what he's able to do for WWE. So, Next up is Chad Gable working with the Kree brothers. Just As Chad Gable Alpha Academy Sami Zayn saga continues to build, it appears that there could be two new players involved. Observant fans noted that Gable yep. was once again seen in the background during a backstage segment chatting with the Kree brothers. Is Master Gable looking for replacements for Akira Tozawa, Maxine Dupree, and Otis if they continue to disappoint him? Given the WWE's continued use of Easter eggs like this to foreshadow events, it seems extremely likely. Yep, looking Next forward up, to it. Next up, did Dominic break character? Or did Dom break character during one of his segments with Liv Morgan? Some fans seem to think so, as X's Humble Wrestling tweeted, I feel like Dominic <laughs> breaking there wasn't supposed to happen. Liv was in full vixen mode mm -hmm. where she began rubbing Daddy Dom's long flowing locks, leading to a moment where Dominic seemed ready to start laughing. Some fans suggested that Morgan may have improvised there, but whatever the case, the smiles the two exchanged suggest they broke character, even if it was just for a moment. Next up. Hey man, Dom is living his best life, and I'm not mad at him. He's one of the most hated people in WWE. You can damn near say he's one of the most hated characters in WWE history. He has been getting booed like this. How many years? Almost two years now. Still getting booed out the building. In one of the hottest storyline angles with Rhea Ripley. Now in another storyline with Liv Morgan. And we just scratched the surface with that. Oh, bro. Dom is just finding good areas to be in in WWE. And it's working, bro. When it's all said and done, Dominic Mysterio, he's on his way to make a name for himself. We got Rey Mysterio, legend, Hall of Famer. Dominic is working his way there because of his character work and because he can get people to hate him. That is... That you, you may think it's easy. It's not to get people to care and to get people to hate you for years and years on. You're doing something. You he may not be the best in the ring, but people know now people know they don't look at Dominic as just Ray's son. They look at Dominic as Dominic. That that's awesome to see, bro. Pat McAfee gives a zero shit. I leave it at Pat McAfee to double down on a controversial mm -hmm. remark that got him in hot water by using a similar line on Raw. Yep. In case you missed it, McAfee found himself under fire on Monday after this. using the term one white bitch when discussing WNBA superstar Caitlin Clark. While we don't have time to explain the context of his comments, it doesn't appear that he used them disrespectfully. Nonetheless, McAfee apologized for the remark, tweeting, mm -hmm. I shouldn't have used white bitch as a descriptor of Caitlin Clark, no matter the context, even if we're talking about race being a reason for some of the stuff happening. I have way too much respect for her and women to put that into the universe. My intentions when saying it were complimentary, just like the entire segment, but a lot of folks are saying that it certainly wasn't at all. Mm -hmm. That's 100% on me, and for that I apologize. I've sent an apology to Caitlin as well. Everything else I said, still all facts. But despite the controversy, McAfee yeah, raised my eyebrows when he referred to Braun <laughs> Strowman on Raw as one big white son of a bitch. Yep. It's clear that Pat McAfee is willing to speak his mind and that he's never afraid to feed off the controversy. Next up, AEW confirms four... Hey, and Pat, he's he's great. He's a great addition. He's been a great addition since he's been in WWE. He's fantastic. People love him. It's glad to have him back for a little time. We do have him until college football starts back up. Talent departures. Now it's official, AEW has confirmed a departure of four talents by removing them from their roster. Russell Talk recently tweeted, Removed from the AEW roster page today, Jake Hager from the men's roster, Paige Van Zandt from the women's roster, Mark, Mark Henry from up. the broadcast team, Arn Anderson from the coaches section. Do you think AEW will suffer from the loss of these talents? Do you think any of them could end up in WWE? Let us know in I the comments AEW down below. Be Next up, three WWE superstars officially gone. 
AEW isn't the only promotion to acknowledge some departures as three wrestlers have now been taken off WWE's active roster list. Wrestling News is reporting on the exits of Scripps, Drew Gulak, and Boa. Ravens mm. noted that although WWE no longer announces the releases on its website like in years past, some confirmed the departures on social media. And finally, Liv Morgan's cyber-stalking Dominic. Just talking about Last but not this. least, the WWE is taking advantage of its superstar social media to forward a storyline again, this time with the Liv Morgan Dominic Mysterio romance. Daddy Dom recently shared a video on Instagram showing Liv Morgan blowing up his social media with like after like. Mysterio bro, posted, I like it when you show me off. Bro, this is great. This is fucking fantastic, bro. <laughs> and JD McDonough's like, it's the damn mustache, dude. I've been telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> really? You gotta hand it to Liv, spending two hours liking Instagram reels. That's pretty insane. But there you have it, folks. Our look at Raw this week. And she was liking the reels that Rhea was in. This is, this is how you do it. I'm telling you right now what they're doing with Liv, even though, and I will say this, and we were saying this on the chat la uh, last night, her promos are still just, mm, I, you could say maybe it's on purpose for her to play up the annoyingness of her, but her promos, mm, eh. <laughs> it's like, it's like scratching like a, a chalkboard, like it's just, yeah, it, it doesn't, it comes off cringe. I'm not going to lie to you. But I will say this, what she's doing with Dominic, that doesn't come off cringe. It comes off like on some crazy type shit and how she feels about Rhea and stuff like that. It's like, it's, it's, it's working. It's just, I wish her delivery wasn't so theatric. You know what I'm saying? It's the same way I feel about Seth Rollins and his delivery when he's doing the <laughs> and the, the Joker stuff. But when he's serious and he's in like in the mode of trying to convey something, he's fantastic. And when he's doing the whole laughing shit, it, it kind of gets a little bit annoying. I'm not going to lie to you. But that's he's, you know, he's still killing it as, you know, what he's been doing before he, you know, took a break. And the same thing with Liv. I think if she could just hone in a little bit better on her delivery on some of these lines, I think she would be in a great spot. But she's still, I, I love what they're doing with her. So I will say that. I'm not the biggest fan of her promos. But what they're doing with Liv, people are actually, more people are starting to care and get invested. Because we all know when Rhea gets back, all hell's about to break loose. And that is going to be fantastic man comment down below let me know if you guys enjoyed monday night raw last night let me know are you guys enjoying this live morgan dominic mysterio situation because right now they're killing it but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on channel road 250k and i'm still speed the youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace